to supplement what they're learning at their universities. And then self-learners are using uh, the content to educate themselves about a particular subject they might be interested in. But it is completely free and open, no registration required. Um, but it's really key to understand that you also do not get any sort of degree or certificate. There's no credits that you gain from completing the materials. I and, see. And Ed, can you tell us a little something about what's going on with the Connecticut uh, Distance Learning Consortium? We've been in existence for eight years. We began as a higher ed collaborative back when distance learning was a pretty new thing in the higher ed world. But we've since grown to include K-12, state agencies, educational nonprofits, and even businesses. And our job is to provide the e-learning support services that allow online learning to become a quality learning endeavor. So we have a hosting facility for learning management systems. We have instructional designers.